votre ambition. Comment Votre objectif et ambition. Je ne comprends pas. Il y a, il y a ah, votre objectif. Ah, c'est un bon dit temps important. Je suis venu. Avec mon mari. Je suis venu. En Afrique En Afrique. En Afrique. Oui. Is your, is your, mon mari. Is your, is your, is your, is your, your husband. Your, your, your brother. Non. non. Il est américain, je suis africain. Si termine, vous vous engagez une autre mari. Non, 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 drink alcohol but lattes, coffee, hot chocolate, chai, real chai, um, not that Starbucks-ish, um, that's all up my alley. <laughs> <laughs> They don't, uh, that man don't protect the environment and just the government is tell them to stop everything they do to the, to the island and uh, then we grow much here because here there are more grains and more fruits oh. and can survive here is a big one, big one. Yeah. There are around 16 monkeys but most they are fear people only this one because they was living with the people more days mm -hmm. that's why they like to come in the boat shake it. Monkey? He knows you're going to take off. Smart. Yeah. Well, we have no
Stay in Jones exclusive. We are at a marketplace where citizens from both countries of Rwanda and the Congo come together to barter and to trade, Hello. conducting business, uninterrupted, no interference, just citizens of two different countries who are exchanging goods amongst each other. How brilliant. Self-sustainability. The water is actually clear. See what the people will do? They will fend for themselves if you allow them to. Give them an opportunity. They buy their goats, their cows, they are herd. Everything, and uh, sometimes they are buy chocolates. Even Congolese, they are big as like uh, bananas, orange potatoes, cassava. We make exchange. So this is the market. It's you. they do one per week. Yeah, it's Congolese. That there, they are migration. They are checking all the papers and the grain. Yeah. No, no, up oh. there. The house oh. there. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Before to go, the marine Rwanda and the policy. They come to check if everything that it's around. Sometimes when they come to Congo, they're checking all stuff they have. When they're back in the Congo, so they're checking the paper. Oh, okay. Okay, and they see this boat, they, they, uh, when they come here, was like a 15 people. And not, why? You are 12. Right. Uh, you have to show uh, all the information. So how, how far again is the Congo from here? It's uh, like uh, 20 kilometers. It's not far. And oh. we, we're kind of crossing the lake. Okay. They are going in uh, the island we call Ijgui. Okay. They're coming morning and then they're back afternoon like uh, 1 p.m. Oh, okay. Okay. Who found the first? The Hermos. Oh, okay. Right. Hey, how are you? Bien. Speak French. Speak French. Uh, my, 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 my French. Oh, okay. French. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah. Very good, very good. Yeah. Uh, so everybody speaks French. Uh, speak, speak English. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, okay. Tastes good. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, What's your name? Uh, my, my name is... Uh, my name is... Uh, yo. Yo? Where are you coming from? Uh, so I'm from Eritrea, <laughs> my family. Mm. Eritrea? American. No, no, no. Est-ce que vous connaissez um, Eritrea? C'est un pays, un petit pays. Oui. Eritrea. Oui. Eritrea. 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 Uh -huh. Mais je suis africain. Hey. Ouais, je suis euh, en Allemagne. Qui... Pas l'Allemagne. Pas urbain. Euh, ah oui. Quelle est votre ambition Comment Votre objectif, ambition. Je ne comprends pas. Je ne comprends pas. Ah, c'est un monde du temps important. Bienvenue. Avec mon mari. Euh. En Afrique En Afrique. En Afrique. Ouais. Is your, is your, is your...
Sacha Et puis, euh, c'est permis, vous engagez une autre mari. Non, 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 Oh, okay. Oh, we gotta go up there. Yeah, up there. Hey, babe, we had to go up there. Oh, d'accord. Excusez-moi. We shall continue. It's a pleasure, vraiment. It's a pleasure. And you also. You too. There are important things you put in the boat. No. No. Oh, it's yeah. bag, what is inside? Yeah, I got my uh, bag. What is okay? A document so in you there? can go there and it's a document. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, nothing. Inside. I got my wallet. And oh, money. Okay. Uh, right no, now. it's up there. Okay. So you can go up there and then I check it. Okay. All right. Thank you. We will meet you there. Is, no, here. We're back here. Okay. And are you going there? Let me bring and I'll find you there. You'll meet us. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So okay. Go on there. That is the You want a joke in Africa? <laughs> Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're like battling. We don't eat pork either. Okay. So it's very strange to see the pigs. So each the the house, they are belong what you can say. Okay. There you okay. see that is uh, the houses and the looms. This is the loom of the herd, pigs, goats, 
and the cows on the other side. So where I come, you see the house here, it's like a bar. Yeah. Where you can buy drinks and food. Yeah, people come here, they like sometimes they take lunch, drink, something like that. So while you're here, it cannot be hungry. And oh. there are security inside here. So so some that one security they control if you know, everything we have. And uh, the man who comes down here, also they are man who will come with the taxi. Oh, okay. If you will pay taxi or something, everything is they organize it. The government they organize the place. You cannot come here and say, for example, my God, it's a hundred dollars. No, government they organize everything. Yes. Three boats connected, and uh, they are going to fish at night. They are using light to catch the fish. Oh, okay. And uh, they are using light. So is that uh, Masai? Yeah, here? Masai. Yeah, sure. You want that? From here, or they just move here. Yeah, they move here. They come here when it's market oh, time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So they always sell goods. Yeah. I didn't know how popular pork was. <laughs> That's amazing. You have phone service even on the yeah, 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 on yeah. top of the yeah, yeah. Everything the one is so yeah. technical. The technical, yeah. yeah. You see, kind of the fish we have. The real fish is up the hair. See. On the look, yeah, look on the roof. Up, to, up yeah, there? Yeah, that is a fish. Oh. It's rocky, I can't even say. Thanks. Like a bill, and uh, when you go to show them, come collecting the taxi, they are see your price, uh, how much you're buying, and then also you pay. Yes, see? Huh? Uh -huh. What is she doing? <laughs> they're, they're trying to take her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you see that man? Huh? Who has like a books? Yeah. And this man who has jackets? Yeah. They are collecting the taxi and everything is on boats. Oh, okay. Yeah. I 
Can I move? Yeah. Ready? Hey. Hey. About to roll. Yeah. I see you. Very beautiful. You want to take a picture with me? Yes, you want to take video? Tell us. I have a gift of play football. We have helped me to write a, a gift of play football. Where can they find you? Where do you live? I live in the new Kanyawusa village. And I, I, my mother is in Wamaya, Ivana. I, I live in Nyarusazi, Nyarusazi, Ser, in the Gilemba village, I say. Okay, we're going to put this on YouTube so people can find you and help you. Yes. Please, family on YouTube, if you can help him, he's given you his name and his address. Help him, he's going to be the next football star. Yes. Premiership League. Yes. What's your favorite team? Huh? What's your favorite football team? My favorite team is Man City. Oh! Like Wayne, Wayne Rooney used to play for them, right? Yes. So, let's get him to man you. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna put this on YouTube, okay? Yes. Okay, all right, brother. Inshallah, inshallah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, beer and everything. Yeah, why not? Some can buy pineapple. Oh, you're gonna buy? Yeah, sure. Oh. Did it catch up? Yeah, go. Your favorite baked yeah, pineapple. Yeah, you're going to buy thousands. That's his favorite pineapple. He eats it every morning. You don't go in I'm not hungry. You tell no, me. I know. I'm saying. I'm going to buy the. You are? Yeah. We are okay. We are cool. We had a big breakfast. You're going to kill the man. Where can you go now? Hmm? I can look at you. 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 I can look
Ujiyo sio utawa zinjia wari bunga tendi ndi kuli. Nasa kutoa kwa rangi na kutoa tangu. Nasa yeye na gumba na vitu juu zinjia ni tano na mji zao kuyehuzi. Hayo kuri kwa na kuri sasa nzi. Kuhusu. Kumbona. Keep saying where is she? Keep saying where is she? I said I got my eye on her. Don't worry, I'm not for kids. <laughs> I mean, the only thing I'm in danger of is getting scooped up. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> There's many suitors. Yeah, but they don't know how high maintenance I am. <laughs> yeah. They have no idea. <laughs> only, only, only you could. <laughs> Manage this, it's a lot. Yes. No plastic. That's right. Even the market. You see that is local people. Yeah. Local from the village. He's saying, notice how even in the marketplace there's no rubbish. No plastic, no cigarette butts, no caps, no paper. Pristine. This is definitively the cleanest country I've been to ever. I used to feel this way about Canada, but somewhere along the way. Canada started getting a little bit more polluted, unfortunately. It's a joint effort, fam. We shouldn't even expect the government to ask us of this. We should just be taking care. This is, you know, ours to share. All of this is ours to share. The entire planet. Let's take good care. And by the way, this has nothing to do with global warming. I'm not, I'm not even. <laughs> It has zero to do with that. Couldn't have less to do with it. It's just about respecting Mother Nature. Because that whole global warming concept and idea, narrative is a whole other conversation. <laughs> Look at these innovative boats they make in the Congo. Look at these women. And they're too, feeding their families. Man and woman working together just how God intended it. Amazing. And this over here looks like a very boozy, very posh hotel I must say please don't let me find out that this is owned by non Rwandese indigenous people that would make me very sad I was, uh, if, it, if, if someone see you you take a trash you put somewhere it's not allowed mm -hmm. they are punish you the government knows yeah they punish you that's amazing like, I only see people ooh, buying and selling the animals yeah. and yeah. that's it also the they people there you see, even that people, oh, they are almost they are in a cooperative. Yeah. Yes. For example, Congolese, they are buy the goats, but they need someone who can help them to take the goats or the uh, pig mm -hmm. in a boat. They oh, that's what those. They are cooperative groups. They help them. Oh, okay. Yes. It's amazing people.
Gotta go. Hey, we gotta go. Favorite? <laughs> is, is it for you? Yes, yeah, my wife. <laughs> is, it, is it your wife? My spouse. Ah. <laughs> Merida, <laughs> Merida. Your Merida is my family. It's <laughs> <laughs> my family. Go, 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 <laughs> All right, thank you. Oh, sorry, Jane. It's okay. No, it's funny because I was just running. I guess this must be the first time. all trying to get at my woman I can't go nowhere this was this was Nigeria 2.0 I'm like chopped liver hey I'm here nah it's cool Introduce yourself. Okay. My name is Robert Russell. I'm boat captain of Dead Forest in Lake Hugo. I invite you to visit our place. We like a beautiful lake in the world. We share with the Congo, a beautiful island where you can take your time and to enjoy. Cheers. Please support him. And can we have your WhatsApp number so that people can ring you directly yeah, and sure. book a tour? Okay, go ahead. Okay, 07 82 98 10 65. And the area code? Hmm? The area code for Rwanda? Yeah. Uh, 025. Uh, Please pre 25. The prefix, yeah. yes. Okay, wonderful. Thank you so much. Please hire him. We had the most amazing morning with him. Perfect tour. Yes.
<laughs> and a Tupac fan. Hey, he knows good music. <laughs> and now we're back with Augustine. Family now. <laughs> All right, Augustine, go ahead. So, uh, my name is Augustine. Uh, private tour, uh, freelancer tour guide in Rwanda. Uh, I do many trips, even in Rwanda, even in Uganda, for many, many things, different things. So for us now, we were in Lake Kivu. So uh, let's hope you enjoyed. Did you enjoy it? Amazing. Also, enjoy. the park you took us to yesterday. Yes, for the Forest for the Kanopi Walk. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Family, family. So uh, let's hope you will be good ambassador when you arrive there in your countries. Yes. Please feel free and we will hope we will see you again. Yes, and, and if he people... loves music. He and loves music. Yeah. Yeah. All your tunes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and please also, you can book with uh, Augustine. You can contact him on WhatsApp. Can you give us your number, please? Sure. Uh, actually, with the prefix. it's uh, plus two five zero. Uh, eight, eight, uh, zero seven eight three five eight zero nine zero eight. That's my number. But you know, that's plus plus two five zero. That's our codes of Rwanda. Yes, yes the prefix. Uh, Beautiful. Okay. Please okay. book with him. We had the most amazing so two days. Please book with me. Yes. <laughs> please amazing. Book with Augustine. Yes. Trip of a lifetime. Thank you. Thank you so much, Argus. Oh, it's water. Huh. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Right. So I need so, to, to come with you uh, okay. to the coffee and then I'm waiting the truck from okay. there to here. Okay. Can we put these there so he can sit them? Maybe. The Maybe. Yeah. Okay. I'll sit in the front. I'll put it in the middle. You want to keep your bag in the middle? No, no, I don't. Because there's two of us sitting in the back. Nothing can break here, maybe no, it can No, it can break. No okay. It's just sucks. <laughs>
All right, so welcome everyone. We are at a coffee farm in Rwanda and this is our tour guide, Moses. Okay, uh, <laughs> thank you uh, for coming to visit us. Uh, I am Moses. Uh, I'm the coffee tour guide uh, for uh, helping people at the coffee lovers, especially to understand the whole process of the coffee that they love from the seedlings, preparations, and till the cup. And uh, I hope we are going to together to enjoy this coffee tour. And uh, I work on the behalf of the cooperative of coffee uh, farmers, which had been established in 2007, with only 70 members, among of them uh, 61 were men and only 90 women. But like a cooperative, uh, we have put more effort to let uh, more women to get involved in the coffee farming because they are the ones who are uh, most focused with the coffee farming activities. Then we come able to increase the uh, number of members of cooperative from 70 to 1,264. And also we have been able to involve more women in the coffee farming from 90 women to uh, 555. And also they are able to produce their own container of green beans and we export their specialty coffee in the USA through uh, artisanal coffee imports. So one container normally is around 19 tons and 200 kilograms. So we try our best so then the tourists who are coming, they can enjoy the tour, they can just come able to know everything. And also we require them by the end of experience to share that experience with other people who may not be able to visit the place because it's a little bit far away. So uh, we hope uh, even by the end of this tour that we're going to operate here, you will even support us as ambassadors to let people know that you are having this amazing experience. Also to let people uh, know that you are having a very high quality of coffee as you are going to even to test the coffee from these organizations. So by extension of this tour, we are having a plan uh, in, in the nearby future to have like a campsite where the tourists who are coming may enjoy not only coffee but other experience like milking, like uh, beekeeping. And um, we are planning to use this, this hill, it's called Sachiniaga. Uh, on the top of the hill, uh, there is a very flat uh, place, but when you are there, you, there is a very nice view. So because you can just view the Rek Kivu in, in Iraj, you can just be able to see the Kibuye Karong town in Iraj and this sector Rubengera in Iraj. And uh, it's also uh, very important that the tour, tourists can just enjoy even the experience with the local community by visiting some people in different places. So uh, I'm also hoping to have like a coffee shop here nearby the main road for attracting more people and also by promoting the local consumptions of our coffee. Uh, I really uh, thank you for coming to visit us. And I really know that the positive fruit from your visit will just be seen as soon as possible. Please come, book, and um, if you want to book, you can just go on, on, on Instagram. It's Kopakakidu uh, Tegure. Uh, you can even visit us on the website www.kopakakidutegure.w. Uh, uh, you can even contact us on the email kopakakidutegure at gmail.com. And also, you can even contact me uh, through WhatsApp on uh, plus uh, 250-7890-93417. I really thank you, and your coming is supporting the thousands of farmers who are operating with this cooperative. Thank you so much. Sir, welcome. You want to take some? Hmm? You want to take some? Go ahead. How are you? Yeah, baby. Yeah, like I'm at home. Exactly where I'm supposed to be. Yeah. I love Your this. thing is coffee. Our thing is coffee. Don't drink alcohol, but lattes, coffee, hot chocolate, chai, real chai. Um, not that Starbucks ish. Um, that's all up my alley. <laughs> <laughs> I know the I know that one and that one. The first two. <laughs> Mom, mommy, and I got two. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, that's right. good. Wow. Juro su dio que profumo da dio. 
تعم تعم اني راح احكي Can I do one as well? Yeah. Yeah? You can do this. This one? Okay. So this is ripe, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I'm actually doing this. <laughs> Hello, coffee bean. <laughs> Which, these ones too? Yeah. Okay. They're so juicy. Yeah. This is what, unfortunately, industrialization of food has separated us from, is this connection right here, right? Mm. It's touching it, knowing oh. it, feeling it, smelling it. Is this the evolution? Yes. <laughs> I just got it. I just got it, so. <laughs> to the other wives, you all know, yeah, what it's like when your husband listens to only 10% of what you say, because I said this two minutes ago. <laughs> It's a human problem. <laughs> so, I can start. Normally, uh, for us, as the cooperative, uh, we work on the behalf of the farmers, which means that our cooperative has uh, 16 permanent workers. Because when the cooperative was established, it had three main uh, targets. The first one was to support farmers by uh, providing the, supporting them by providing the improved uh, farming techniques. So then they can come able to increase their productivity in terms of quality and quantity. The second one was to, to, to put in place the improved the processing facilities to keep the, 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 the quality high. And also the last one was to find the good market for them so then they can get the, the profit. Because if no profit, they cannot do it sustainably. So for that, we support the farmers by uh, preparing the seedlings. All the seedlings, they are prepar prepared here at the central management at the cough washing stations. So once they are mature, we give them to the farmers free of charge to plant. So once they will just have them mature to produce and they will bring the cherries here then to, to sell and they will just buy them and we proceed until the market. So uh, normally for having uh, the very small plant of coffee, you need to have the mature bean. Mature bean is supposed to be very red, be really red. So you see this one is red but not yet. So it is still have some times to grow mature until these ones. So now when we are uh, on the harvesting period in Rwanda, which starts uh, from January up to June or July, depending on the, the climate, so we request them to, to harvest, to pick this kind of beans, they're very red. But normally sometimes when the farmers, when they go into their farm, so they, they are willing to pick more beans to get more money. Sometimes they can just uh, pick mixed ones. The ones which are not yet mature yet, and like this one, which is over it, right to be harvested. When it comes late, it, it changes the color to this one. This is the mm. red bean. So then, because if they just take, if they bring them like together, in this case, we cannot make the high quality of coffee. Now we ask them after picking them, take time and they separate them. So try to, to, to remove these ones and bring them separately. So these unmature beans, the overripe the beans and other defect beans, we proceed we buy them as low quality on a low price. And then these ones, we buy them as high quality on a better price. But also, uh, it doesn't, we are not limited by them, but we also provide them with trainings, uh, harvesting trainings, because we tell them, if you are harvesting this one, you are losing money, because you can get paid like this, 410,000 francs, and this one, uh, like only 100. So then we tell them, if you get more of this one, you are losing money. But if you let, you wait for some time for this one to be uh, very uh, red, ready, you can even be getting some, uh, some money. Because among of those 16 permanent workers, seven of them, they are the agronomists. 
they don't have the offices here the offices at the farms they're always used to move around the farms and then if he comes to moses farm for example and find there's a problem he has to call upon moses hey i want to meet you on the farm so then i can advise you there are things that you have to improve on so then you can just get a better productive production so after getting this uh here <coughs> now we remove the skin but you have the machine i will uh, show you around we have the machine to the park to remove this skin then after the skin is removed you can see that we get inside the the skin uh, there should be two beans but those beans they are a little bit slippery they are a little bit sticky so which means that from this stage we should do the washing we should wash this coffee but as you see uh, it's a slippery it's difficult to wash something that you cannot be able to touch first of all we take them in a place for fermentation so then this mucilage can just become flexible to get washed so the fermentation can be uh, uh, can uh, be done between 12 to 15 hours because we do a dry fermentation without water so and uh, by the, the how the variation of the heat when the heat is coming fast a natural heat the fermentation goes fast when the heat is going slow even the fermentation can take longer up to uh, uh, 15 hours so after fermentation these ones uh, because we are dealing with more tons there are some uh, tanks where we put them and some guys comes with the clean feet and jump in to remove the mucilage so uh, once the mucilage is removed, we send it to the washing channel to get washed. We wash it with the water. So after washing now, we take them to a place under shed to sort again, to select again. Because sometimes even if you have these beans, you can just see the bean on the bean at all. It doesn't have the problem, but sometimes the pest can get inside and damage the bean inside. And when you are selecting at this level or when you are picking, you cannot be able to recognize. But uh, after you remove the skin, now you really uh, you are in contact with the bean. Now you are looking how the bean it is. When the bean has the problem, is it comes a different. You can easily uh, recognize it. But we do it under shirt, that selection, because we want, we want to finish removing all the defects by the, once they are still wet. Because uh, when they come dry, so they all have the same color, like this one. So, but when they are wet uh, here, you can find some animature beans, because the animature beans, if you remove the skin, the bean is, uh, has the greenish color, it looks like green. So then you can recognize them. So after sorting, the sorting is a very important uh, part of our activities because it, we, we, it offers more job opportunities to different people. Uh, for the, uh, uh, during the peak season, we can be able to employ between 150 to 200 people a day doing the selection. Then once selecting, we take this to the drying tables under solar to be dried. And now by drying, this can be dried uh, between uh, 12 to 15 days according to the solar. If you're having like a good climate with the solar, it takes like short time. But if you're having the mixed climate, solar and rain, it can just go up to 15 days. But we make sure that they are dry enough when they have the moisture of 11% of moisture. That is the way we take them from this side to the, to the store. And we prepare the export. So when we are going to the export, we take these uh, beans to the dry mill to remove this skin. To remove this skin, there is the machine which removed this skin. Mm -hmm. Like wow, this. Look at that. Yeah. Oh my God. And then once the skin is removed, mm -hmm. now we get the green. So and this is the kind of coffee that we export. This is the kind of coffee that we send in the USA, wherever. So once they receive this ones, they do roasting, then grounding, that and then they enjoy that one, and then they enjoy. Yeah, I 
never do a la 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 a la like this. Gotta be something for me to write this. Queen, I ain't seen you in a minute. Wrote this letter and finally decide to send it. Sign, seal, deliver for us. To you Oh, yeah, we've been there before. Yeah. Grow together. Love has no limit. Let's spin a slow forever. I know your heart is weather by what studs did to you. I ain't gonna start them because I probably did it too. Because of you feelings, I handle with care. Some recognize the life, but they can't handle the glare. You know I ain't the type to walk around with matching shirts. A relationship is effort. I will match your work. I want to be the one to make you happiest. It hurts you the most. They say the end is near. It's important that we close to the most high. Regardless of what happened on him, let's rely. Communicating soon the fate of this union to the right pitch. I never call you my to even my boo. There's so much in the name and so much more in you. If you understand the union of woman and man, the sex and the tingle is where they assuming it land. But that's fly by night with you in the sky, right? When these cold side nights, moon, you my light. If heaven had a height, you would be that tall. Get all the car shopping, you I see that all. Let's stick to understanding if we won't fall. For better or worse times, I hope to me you call. So I pray every day more than anything. Friends will stay as we begin to lay this foundation for a family. Love ain't simple. Why can't it be anything worth having? You work at annually. Granted, we've known each other for some time. It don't take a whole day to recognize sunshine. <laughs> Listen to more than hip hop, and I can catch you in the mix from beauty to thrift shop. Plus, you shit pop when it's time to thinking you fresh, but just the beats I surround to. At times when I'm lost, I try to find you. You know to give me space when it's time to. My heart's dictionary defines you. It's love and happiness. Truthfully, it's hard trying to practice abstinence. The time we committed love, it was real good. Had to be for me to arrive, and it still feels good. I know the sex ain't gonna keep you, but as my equal, it's how I must treat you. As my reflection, the light, I'ma lead you. And whatever's right, I'ma feed you. Yo, I tell you the rest when I see you. Please.
Okay, Mr. Teo, you generously brought us all the way back to Kigali. You. You're a driver. Tell us. Tell us. Oh, hey, um, <laughs> I'm Teo from Kibuye. I'm a private driver. So I do like to drive, driving some tourists for different places in Rwanda. So please, please come to Rwanda and I will drive you. So I have a WhatsApp number. If you want to connect, uh, to contact me, it's, our call is plus 250-783-14-270-270. That's my contact, WhatsApp. Okay. Thank you, guys. And he has a nice car. He has Wi-Fi in the car. Oh, yeah. yeah. I do have a Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, <laughs> sunroof. Yeah. We'll yeah. be happy with me. You'll and be very comfortable. You can play all the music you want off your phone. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. <laughs>